Hey there beautiful people, I hope you are having a creative day. In this video, I will show you how to create a scroll progress bar in Wix Studio. So as you can see on top of this page, when I scroll the web page, the progress bar completes and at the end of the web page, at the end of the scroll, the progress bar finishes as well. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. It's a very easy process. Um, I have taken care of the code and everything. You just have to copy and paste it in your website and um, change a few things according to your uh, taste and you're good to go. There are two versions of the progress bar. The one is what you see right here, a simple progress bar which completes when you scroll the page. And another one is for uh, showing the percentage completion of the web page. So this is the second one. And when you scroll down, you will see a percentage value of how much the uh, scroll has completed. Right. So it works on every page of the website. This progress bar works on every page of your website in perfect synchronization. So for example, this blog, when you scroll down, you will see the completion and when uh, another section loads the progress bar will reset itself so it's a very easy method to add the progress bar now let me show you how to add this in your website i have already uh, taken care of the code so you just have to copy and paste it in your website so this one right here is uh, the code without the percent value so simply copy this entire code like this now let me show you how to um, edit the code and change the parameter all right so on top here we have the html element of the page so we have the progress bar which is this stripe here and we have the progress which is the colored part which you see right here all right so this is the HTML element and this style section is where you change the parameter the color the size and everything um, the position is fixed you don't have to change it the top and left uh, sets the position of the bar so I will recommend keeping it where it is the width is 100% so depending on the device size it will uh, you know change the size itself the height value decides the height of the stripe here so if you change it to let's say 50 pixel you will see a large uh, section here so I will recommend that you keep it small up to 15 10 or 15 all right the background color decides the color of the background so for example you can just copy this any color you want and paste it right here and you will see the color change on the background this is the background color of the stripe the z index in here make sure that the uh, progress bar always remains on top of the website all right on top of every element so it doesn't hide behind the header or something else all right so this is the background now we have the progress um, the height is set to 100% so you don't have to set it to a pixel because the pixel can change so writing the value in percentage will make sure that it covers the entire uh, stripe the background color in here sets the background color of this stripe so you can change it to anything you want All right so for example this color will show up when you uh, scroll down the page and width is 0% which will uh, work with the JavaScript to complete the progress bar um, right here we have the JavaScript you don't have to change anything in here it's already taken care of and once you are satisfied with color and everything just copy this code in here go to your settings and custom code so if you go to your um, Wix studio or Wix website settings go to the custom codes and add the code in your header so add the custom code 
paste it one important thing you should change here is load code on each new page all right and hit apply now let's see what it looks like all right so as you can see we now have the uh, background color um, the one we set right here right and when you scroll down you will get the red color on the web page that's because we have set the red color right here um, based on your website uh, web page height it will change and reset itself all right so this is the progress bar without the percentage value now let me show you uh, the configuration for the code with the percentage the difference between these two um, codes is that the one with the percentage has a container as well we have added the progress container progress bar progress and the text to show the percent value all right so the first thing we have is the progress container the position is fixed top zero left zero you don't have to change it width you don't have to change it height you can decide how high you want this progress bar to be the you know the height of the progress bar so i can change it to anything i want like this however as i said before keep it around 10 15 5 something like that even 15 is too much i'm gonna keep it to 10 and make sure to add the pointer events as well um, this will remove any cursor interaction with the um, progress bar so this is the container after that we have the progress bar itself so there are a few more things i have added we have the background color let's change it Um, I have also added a border so you can set the border color as well. And we have the border radius to um, create a radius for the progress bar. And finally, we have the progress here. Again, you can set your colors and everything just like you did on the um, the progress bar without the uh, text one thing that have changed in the progress is that we have also added a text element so you can change the color of the text as well so i have set it to um, triple f right here and you can also set the font size so i'm going to keep it as it is and finally we have the progress text css as well the z index in here make sure that uh, the text appears on top of the progress bar so it's a very important um, element right here all right so once you are done with this again copy this code go to your settings go to the custom codes and just add the code to your head code and make sure the settings you set it to load code on each new page right and now you have the percent value along with the settings that you have changed in your um, progress bar so when the scroll completes you will have the hundred percent and when the page starts you will have the zero percent and along the way you will have the relative value you can just copy the code change things around and uh, paste it in your head code and you will have the progress bar the best part about this code is that it works on all your pages and change the uh, value of the progress bar depending on the um, height of the page so you don't have to um, change any value for any static page or dynamic page um, i have the dynamic pages here as well so let's see what it looks like on the uh, dynamic pages
All right, so based on the height of the page, you will have a different um, progress bar value. So yeah, this is how you create the progress bar in Wix Studio. You can get the code in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.